Hey there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie. And for this layout I'm using the Pink Fresh Studio Tourist Mode. So I've gone through what I've got left of the collection and I've picked out the blues and greens mainly. I've also got some of the stickers and puffy stickers there. Now I really like this paper and I'm going to use this as my background. It's called Wonder, yeah, Wonder and Wonder. That is, and that's I think the blue side is the A side, so to speak. So I printed off five holiday photographs there. They are different sizes. Uh, what the, the biggest one is six by four. The, the small ones are two by two and the other two, I think they're two and a half by three and a half. I printed them myself. And I'll say from the start, I know that they've got a watery background. That's the theme that I'm going for. There is a rivery thing on the paper, but I'm kind of just going with the colour. I think sometimes I get too hung up with uh, the type of paper and how it should be used. But I think this is going to be perfect for this layout. I think it's the photos are going to sit really nicely on it. And I'm going to add some green in as well, just to mix it up a, a bit rather than having just blues. And I think it's going to work fine. So I'm just going through, as you can see, I've got all these bits in the tray. I love ephemera. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that. And I have to look at every single piece because I just deciding I want to do some journaling in the top right hand corner. Um, but I like to see what I'm got that on offer. I've got some camera flare there. They're Hey Little Magpie's own. Uh, I've also got some tags that I've cut out of some of the mixed sheets that came with this range. So if it had tags or tickets or anything like that, I usually sit down of an evening and cut them out of the six by six and the 12 by 12, if I know I'm not gonna use the B side. So um, a lot of those bits in the tray are things that I've actually cut out from the range myself. So I'm looking at overlapping the photographs um, a little, and then the, the smaller ones will be slightly separate. So I want to add a few clusters and bits and pieces around them. I don't want to overwhelm the photographs but I do want to add a little bit more stuff um, to this layout. So you'll see that there's a couple of photographs of us actually swimming. There's a snorkeling photo there and there's a couple of paddle boarding photos as well. So uh, I've, I've gone with a water, water sports theme and, and I'm in all but one photo. So it's me doing everything there but the snorkeling, which I can snorkel, but there's no photos of me doing it on this trip. So uh, I just thought they were quite a good mix uh, and go really well with the bluey greens that I've picked out. I do find that by reducing the amount of stash in front of me, by limiting it, say, by colour, I actually am more productive and I use it better and I get more of it on the page rather than being overwhelmed. So sometimes I do look through everything at the very beginning, narrow it down a little bit and then use that to work with, if that makes sense. And I find that, yeah, I definitely get more on the page. So I'm looking at using, there's quite a lot of phrases in this, um, range so I'm looking at mixing the phrases plus a few circular elements particularly now I've got the camera flare at the top I've just cut out a little uh, puffy arrow circular sticker and there's a sticker at the bottom there that says soak it all in which I thought just went really well with water uh, and there's a circle there that off the sticker sheet so I think I might use that to um, be a layer behind that camera sticker because that is really the main photo because it is the biggest um, I will look at raising some of these photos up when I stick it all down, but um, that will be later on, as you can imagine. So I'm just looking at some of the phrases I'm looking at. One says new experience, another one says perfect place. Uh, I think one says paradise. I've got savouring the moments, having the time of my life. Uh, trip highlights, I think they all go really well. They're very general, so they go with anything you did on a, a day trip or a holiday or some sort of experience. So I think they're uh, very uh, useful for any sort of um, trip. So you notice we cut the sticker off with the backing on. I, like, I don't like to commit until later on. So I've come in with a paper out of the six by six pad and this paper's called Staycation. And I'm gonna cut some waves. Um, I try and just wing it the first time with a pair of scissors there. And it's not too bad, but I do end up doing a drawing on the back of this staycation on, because it's actually got lines on the back. And I'm like, why didn't I think of that in the first place? But I'm gonna create just some little, yeah, like hand cut waves. You don't need a die. You don't need a cutting machine to make something like this. You can just do it yourself. So I'm drawing using the lines, cut, cut it uh, once and then I, I make it less than 
half a centimeter thick so the idea is just going to add this it also brings in that darker blue and I think that works really well one of my photos is quite dark I think one of the one of the um, stickers is quite dark as well so I think it just it adds another dimension because I haven't actually backed my photographs with anything and I don't plan to I've kept them white because I think that goes quite nice with the grid lines on the background paper so I just thought by bringing in another colour it um, or, a, or a darker shade of blue anyway it would just add um, a little bit more to it I have a tendency to overthink things so <laughs> I'm trying not to got a couple more uh, tags that I found that were out of one of the six by six sheets and I'm tucking those in got one behind the bottom photo anyway so there's three there now I think that works quite well come in with some craft phone and I'm just going to lift a couple of the photographs up the top one and the two at the bottom I'm going to lift up so you can find all this range in the Hey Little Magpie store I really recommend you check it out there um, it's a fabulous range to document any sort of adventures and um, there's lots of inspiration from the team as well. I'm not the first on the team to have used this range, so do check out the blog as well, where you can see uh, everybody else's layouts. I decide that I'm actually going to um, raise the tag for my journaling as well, so I'll, I'll add that to it. it. By adding a whole piece of foam, it will make it easier when I do the journaling, and I'll do that right at the very end off camera, but it will be on the finished layout. Uh, and then I'm going to think about sticking this down, but I will be doing the majority of that off camera. So this is stuck down, as you can see, I'm now come in these heart stickers, very good value there in the Hey Little Magpie store, they're their own. And I'm just going to use some little bits of foam to add some of the embellishment waves down. I'm just going to use tiny bits of foam on the back. I wanted them to have a bit of a free feel, but obviously not free enough that they escape into the... Uh, plastic pocket of the album so I'm just adding two or three bits of foam just to raise them up a little bit so that there's a, it just feels like there's a little bit of movement so uh, this is a little bit fiddly um, and that's why I'm actually cutting into the foam pads to make them small enough to um, go on the back of the waves that I hand cut so in the end I think um, I've got about six or seven waves seven I think uh, in the end a couple around the bottom photo two in the uh, near the middle one at the very top near that boat shape, which I thought was perfect to add to that cluster and then a couple by the journaling. Um, when I finished it, I added, added the journaling in pen. It says, we tested the waters around Croatia, paddleboarding, swimming and snorkeling uh, off the cruise boat. So that's uh, what I wrote from about a recent holiday. So that's, there was enough on that, spa on that journaling tag to actually add all that. So I was quite pleased because uh, recently I've been adding my journaling to the back of layouts, which is fine as long as you know that it's there. So I'm trying my best to get some of my journaling now on the front. And considering I've got five photographs, I think four tags, some uh, wavy lines and all sorts of um, journaling, um, I think there's quite a lot of white space still. So I think because maybe the paper is pale and all the, a lot of the decoration is white on it, I don't think it looks too overcrowded. Um, but it certainly makes a change for me to have so many photographs on a layout. So are you somebody that uses just one photo? Do you use lots? Do you print your own or do you have them printed and have them delivered? Uh, all of these things can actually affect your scrapbooking so it's, sometimes it's nice to mix it up. So I was really pleased to get so many photographs and different sizes. That's something I don't normally do so quite pleased that I've kind of mixed it up just to have um, the photos on one side of the layout. So I think I've nearly stuck most of these waves down now. So thank you so much for watching. This is the finished layout. Uh, I'll also have some close-ups in just a moment. So if you'd like to uh, give this layout a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, we'd be much appreciated. And we hope to see you here again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.